In the design and development phase of exercise planning, the planning team uses program priorities and guidance from senior leaders to shape the major concepts and considerations for a single exercise or series of exercises. Meetings serve as a structured event or forum for completing the major milestones of exercise design and development. This video will discuss planning meetings, including planning meeting considerations, the concept and objectives meeting, initial planning meeting, midterm planning meeting, master scenario events list meeting, final planning meeting, and the after action meeting. Planning meeting considerations. The core exercise planning team should be identified prior to the first meeting. They are responsible for exercise design, development, conduct, and evaluation. The planning team also helps with conducting meetings, briefings, and training sessions. The early and frequent engagement of senior leaders is the key to success for any exercise. Senior leaders provide the overarching guidance and direction as well as communicate intent for the exercise. While planning meetings are critical for accomplishing key milestones, much of the development work and coordination is completed between meetings. In-progress reviews, or IPRs, are additional opportunities to address issues between planning meetings. Circumstances may require conducting virtual meetings to include all participants in the planning process. After each meeting, the planning team compiles and distributes the meeting minutes or detailed notes, including the next meeting date, time, location, and due dates for assigned tasks. FEMA has provided tools and templates to help with the design and development of exercises. Planners should consider using the master task list available on FEMA's Preparedness Toolkit site. Concept and Objectives Meeting a concept and objectives, or CNO meeting, is the beginning of the exercise planning process. This meeting sets the tone and direction for the exercise planning team to begin designing an exercise. The purpose of a CNO meeting is to discuss the exercise concept, including scope, proposed exercise objectives, and align capabilities linked to threats and hazards. It is also key to identify the exercise timeline and milestones, along with additional potential planning team members. Typically, representatives from participating jurisdictions or organizations attend the CNO meeting and work with the planning team to begin the planning process. For smaller, less complex exercises, the CNO meeting can be conducted in conjunction with the initial planning meeting. Initial planning meeting. The Initial Planning Meeting, or IPM, focuses on refining the scope and objectives for the exercise. During the IPM, the planning team refines the planning timeline, determines objectives and aligned capabilities, develops draft exercise documentation, outlines evaluation requirements, scenario elements, the extent of play for participating jurisdictions or organizations, and identifies all plans, policies, and procedures. The IPM is an ideal time to clearly define roles and responsibilities, as well as establish preferred communication methods for the planning team. Midterm Planning Meeting The Midterm Planning Meeting, or MPM, serves as a forum to continue development and refinement of the products and tasks started during the IPM. During the MPM, the planning team reviews draft exercise documentation, finalizes exercise scenario elements to include a draft master scenario events list if one is needed, and identifies and assigns logistical requirements. The MPM is the time to update and refine design and development details. Master Scenario Events List Meeting For operations-based exercises, the Master Scenario Events List, or MESL meeting, focuses on reviewing the proposed exercise timeline and developing the MESL in detail. It is commonly referred to as the MESL sync. Exercise planners from participating jurisdictions or organizations are included to identify activities that must occur during the exercise. They discuss key events, critical tasks, conditions, and standards required to meet objectives, expected player actions, time frame, and contingency injects to prompt player action if needed. At the end of the MESL meeting, events have been revised and finalized. Final Planning Meeting The Final Planning Meeting, or FPM, serves as the end of the exercise planning process. 
It is held to finalize exercise documentation and logistics. An FPM should be conducted to confirm that all elements of the exercise are ready for conduct. Prior to the FPM, the planning team completes the drafts of all exercise materials. No major changes to the exercise's design, scope, or supporting documentation should take place at or following the FPM. The planning team conducts a final review to approve all remaining draft documents and resolve any outstanding logistical concerns. Following the FPM, presentations and briefings should be practiced and all relevant documentation should be disseminated to appropriate personnel. After Action Meeting Following exercise conduct, the After Action Meeting, or AAM, serves as an interactive session to review the Draft After Action Report and Improvement Plan, or AARIP. Participants should reach a consensus on strengths and areas for improvement, assign corrective actions to stakeholders, and propose deadlines for those activities. Once the AAM is complete and the AARIP is agreed to, there is a handoff of responsibilities from the exercise team to the parties responsible for corrective actions. Participating jurisdictions or organizations are responsible for developing implementation processes and timelines and keeping their senior leaders informed on the status. Now that you understand the purpose of exercise planning meetings, you are ready to organize and conduct your own. Good luck!